Alrighty Hosses, welcome back. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to sort custom objects using multiple different attributes. It's actually gonna be really useful, but before we begin, I need to ask you guys something. Have you ever heard the term, I ship something? I was actually texting the girl uh, yesterday and she goes, I ship yada, yada, yada. And I go, you ship something? What's that mean? Was that like a typo? Or what the heck are you talking about? She goes, no, that's like a saying now. When you say I ship something, it means you really like something. And I thought she was just messing with me, but then I looked it up online and apparently that's like a saying now. So if anyone ever heard it before, then let me know. Maybe I'm just like way out of the loop. Um, for those of you who do say that, don't anymore because it sounds stupid. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, learn something new every day. So anyways, go ahead and type from operator import item getter Figure it's a minute in this video now, I'm supposed to start learning some actual Python now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to sort a custom, this is actually more often than not gonna be a bunch of custom objects. But for this tutorial, I just have a bunch of dictionaries in here. So each object is, of course, has multiple attributes. These ones just have a first name and last name. And I'm gonna show you guys how to sort these, and then I'm gonna show you guys why sorting them that way is a problem and how to do it properly. So we wanna go ahead and sort these by, I don't know, first name, why not? So I'm gonna write X in sorted. All right, first thing of course, what do you wanna sort? Users, it's the only thing we can really. Users, and what attribute do you wanna sort by? So instead of just saying, okay, sort these by whatever default method you have, we know that we can actually access the attributes. So we can sort by either first name or last name. Pretty cool. How do we do that? The key or the thing that we want to sort by equals item getter. And this is just like attribute getter, essentially. F name. Cool, cool. Everyone's going to be sorted by their first name. Let's just go ahead and print this out. And all right, Amanda, Bernie, Tom, looking good. Uh, wait a minute, look at this right here. See, whenever it sorted all the Toms, it didn't really sort it in a true alphabetical order because it has Tom Roberts, then Tom Williams, and then Tom Jones. I mean, if this was a true alphabetical sort, it would be Jones, then Roberts, then Williams. So let me go back here and let me go ahead and sort by L name. And that should fix that problem. <sighs> what the heck, look at this. It's ordered by last names, but whenever it's sorted by, you know, this group of Roberts is, it has Bucky, Tom, and Amanda. So, I mean, Amanda should be first, and then Bucky, and then Tom. So how the heck do we sort it in true alphabetical order, where, let's say, we want to sort by first names, but then those subgroup of, let's say, Williamses, we want to sort those further by last name. So what we can do is this. Let me just go ahead and print out a little separator line. And I'm just doing that because I'm gonna post all the source code on my GitHub page. So if you guys wanna sort by one attribute, I'll keep that there too. But what I wanna do is I wanna pretty much do the same thing before. I'm gonna sort users. But now for my key, come on autocomplete. I always get, <laughs> I don't know why I get angry like, when I just don't type in one like symbol and I'm like, oh my God, autocomplete, can you not just type the rest of my code for me? All these cool features for IDEs, they just made me incredibly lazy, but you know, I don't know, whatever. All right, so just like before, we're gonna sort by item getter, but instead of just having one attribute in here, such as F name, since that didn't give us the desired results, we can actually throw in another attribute. So, what we're saying right here is go ahead, get all of these items, and first sort them by their first name. Now, once you have all these items sorted by their first names, look at the individual groups of names and then sort those further by last name. Really awesome. So now let's go ahead and print this out. So this one was the default one, and look at the Toms in the first one, Roberts, Williams, and Jones. That's not right. The second one, however, it sorts all of the objects by their first name. And then once it has those sorted, it goes further and sorts them by last name. So now this is a true alphabetical sort 
where everything, even the subgroups, are sorted properly. So a lot more useful, especially whenever you're trying to, you know, like make a database and find stuff a lot quicker. So there you go. So uh, yeah, again, I'm probably going to go look at some more terms on Urban Dictionary. And uh, yeah, maybe you guys want to study some more Python. So actually, I'll probably just make another video. So I'll see you guys then.